good. Baisheng made those treats herself. Tell me, how do you like them, your highness? Hmm. This taste reminds me of when she was still a young girl. Why can't people stay pure forever? How come when they grow up, they all become such teeming snakes? Does she think I can't see that she only cares about her son? <gasps> Look, Your Highness. Honestly, I believe that. We shouldn't keep Bai Sheng in Chang'an any longer. No. Bai Sheng must also stay here. And her son must also stay. But keeping them here will not help you achieve your goals. Is that so? Beating the grass frightens the snakes. That makes sense. If Bai Sheng stays here, I'm sure Yan Shi Cheng is going to be more careful. And if he senses danger, he will become dangerous. Only by allowing Bai Sheng to leave Chang'an can you enable Yan Shi Cheng to lower his guard. Thank you, my love, for your good advice. Issue a decree which allows Bai Shang to return home immediately. Yes, Your Majesty. At least I can save Bai Shang. Majesty's orders. I cannot delay it. You must be careful while I'm not here, son. Don't worry, mother. I know the capital well. I know how to deal with people, so don't worry about me. Mm. I just want you to tell my father that the Emperor has become suspicious of him because of his power. It's now meaningless to prove his loyalty. The only way to protect our home is to maintain our military strength. Tell him to listen to reports and step up lightly. Time will reveal who is trustworthy. In time, the Emperor will realize that we're loyal to him. If we make it through, the storm will settle and we'll have peace again. My son, you've suddenly grown up. If I want to survive the den of wolves that is Chang'an, I don't have much choice. I meant to conceal this from you, because I was afraid that you'd give yourself away if you knew about it. But seeing that you already know about it, I feel so relieved. Mother, don't worry about me. As long as you two are safe in Northern Yan, I'll stay safe in Chang'an. I'll return home sooner or later. Intelligence collection, 
surveillance, assassination, and protection. Intelligence collection requires careful observation, while surveillance requires attentive eyes and ears. I understand. The other tasks require strong martial skills. You are a woman and an inexperienced fighter. I'm worried about how well you can do. Don't worry, my lord. I have trust in you. I'm sure that with the help of your training, I'll become an outstanding spy someday. You're ambitious. That is actually good, but ambition without skill is a certain path to failure. I understand. Having crossed the Yellow River, I stand on its banks, watching the water surging forth. In it, there's a tiny show, with budding paddles and willows, and blooming wildflowers. I watch far into the distance, and find inner peace in the end. I wish that in these turbulent times, you can find sanctuary on a show, and share this joy with me. Father, you called for me. What do you need? I've spent the night thinking. Although you and she is very likely a traitor, we cannot prove it. Imprudent moves will alert him of our suspicion. At present, our main rival is the Liang spy agency. The spies of Liang are very cunning. I don't think they came here only to enter the Sky Eye. Really? Please elaborate. If their purpose was to take down the Sky Eye, they would have left after the failed raid. Yet they still remain within Chang'an City. They're not done yet. If the Liang really wants to stir up wars between the major powers, the first step would be to turn Northern Yan and Hui against each other. Oh. Thus, in this game of cat and mouse, whoever moves faster will be the winner. I agree with you. Yeah. Perhaps the time has finally come for you to test this new weapon of yours. This is a major case. And the spies that Liao sent here are all skilled killers. However, Sheng had just started her training. <sighs> if we send her in too early, she could ruin the opportunity. Excuses, excuses. You're saying this to protect her. We're talking about the Sky Eye and the future of our country. She's just a slave maid. Tell me, which is more important? I was just... I have a message, my lord. Come in. My lord, the Liang spies were prepared. I have not been able to prepare for them. Me and the Ye Guard have no new information. We'll send in Xing. She's new. They don't know her. She uses different fighting techniques. I think she has a better chance to succeed. If she fails her task, it will only prove that she's not fit to be a spy. What's more, if we lose her, it won't affect Green Hill Court. All right. My lord, Shane's still new to this, and this mission very dangerous. 
You will follow her. See how she handles. We'll protect her in the mission. As you wish. Waiting for me? My lord, I only just arrived. May I ask when you will begin my training? In the past few days, you've learned some basic skills. But that's far from enough. In order to become an excellent spy, you need real-life experience. Are you saying that you'll assign me on a mission? This mission will be very difficult. Don't worry, my lord. I understand. You've been training me to turn me into a tool or a weapon. One that you can put to use whenever you need it. Earlier, you fought a spy in the Sky Eye. Do you remember what your opponent that day looked like? Mm -hmm. I want you to follow her, follow her carefully, and gather information. Can you do that? <laughs> It'll be a piece of cake. And it's a good opportunity to improve my skills. If you complete this task successfully, then I will train you as an assassin. The Sky Eye has spent years developing this eavesdropping device, the hearing metal. There's also a flying device, the Bamboo Butterfly. Say Yan Shi Chang has sent a fighter to Chang'e. Do you know who he sent? A woman, my lady. A woman? As far as I know, the only strong female fighter there is Chong Yu. Did she come here alone? I don't think so. A group of people have rented a house near Yan Shun's mansion. Judging by their accent, I think they're from northern Yan. They're most likely Chong Yu's people. What does she want? She's spending her time sneaking around the black market, buying commodities. She's been asking about Zhuo Bao Chang's whereabouts. Zhu Bao Sao? Yan Jin is going to flee. We can't let that happen. But while Yu and Ye is around, we are restricted. We can't do much. the bunny enter our little trap we'll then send them to their next life at Su Bao Tsang's weapons shop <laughs> Many of our outposts in Chang'an. We're short on men, and we need weapons. We must buy more right away. Is there anyone in Chang'an who we can buy weapons from in secret? Of course there is. And not just weapons. Sorcery, intelligence of all kinds, maps of estates and powerful devices. If you have the money, 
There's nothing you cannot buy. Who is he? Zhu Bao San. Sorcery. Intelligence of all kinds. Maps of estates and powerful devices. If I can find this man, I could get into the Pavilion of Bliss without being seen by anyone. Salted fish. Ah, good boy. Excuse me, sir. Are you Mr. Zhuo Baotang? That's me. I am the man they speak of, the dashing and carefree, the handsome and charming, Zuo Bao Tam. So, young lady, what do you want to buy? Salted fish? Pork? Or maybe rice? Whatever you want. Seeing as you're such a pretty young girl, I think I'll give you a pretty good price. I couldn't thank you more for that, sir. <laughs> but salted fish, cooking oil, and rice are not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something like this. I want weapons. <sighs> Good for you. But you've come to the wrong place. I don't have such things. <laughs> Wait. Huh? <laughs> ah, Zhong Yu, one of Yan Shi Cheng's people. You don't look like the man in the stories. And now that you have recognized what I just showed you, I'm sure you also know that I'm no ordinary person. Mm. So please, why don't we just get straight to business? Yes, I know. The moment you entered my shop, I sensed something. Something special. You're no ordinary girl. You <sighs> must be extraordinary. <laughs> Sit. So how much are you willing to pay? I want quality. I'm willing to pay. Hmm. <laughs> Young girl, this... I have to say, this is very... very generous. <laughs> but I don't think I have... <laughs> I know that you deal with big amounts. It's not my place to haggle with you, sir. I want knives, swords, halberds, spears, bows, and arrows. Make it 50 cents. Uh, how much? 50? Hmm. Little girl, what are you going to do with so many weapons? Are you going to launch a rebellion? No, we would never do that. We're just worried that 
someone's going to set us up. like another distinguished guest is coming. It seems as though things will get exciting in my humble shop today. message for me. You're as quick-witted as they say. My master wants me to tell you that you've given us a big present. You'll receive your maid's head and return. More surprises will follow. You need only be patient. My lord. She's inside. Good. Assemble the year guard. Okay. Hey, you! Huh? Who allowed you to follow me here? Just go ahead! 
You're going to have to pay for everything you destroy in here! You're going to pay for all of this! They're trapped now. Indeed. I was actually not sure our plan was going to work. There are countless lovers in the world, but only a few of them would sacrifice themselves for the other. It's such a rare thing. I never imagined that this Yu and Ye would sacrifice himself to save the life of a simple maid. He's the inheritor of the Sky Eye. And the son of the Elder House of the Yuan Clan. Yet he's fallen for a slave. That pointless affair would have led to his death sooner or later. Now they'll both die. At least they'll be together. Let's move. is unbreakable. You and Ye can't escape. By the time his rescuers come, they'll have to put out the fire and dig deep to find him. <laughs> He'll be a burned corpse by then. Let's go. Yes. Hey, hey. Don't say I didn't warn the two of you. That's an unbreakable boulder. It weighs a thousand kilos. No matter how strong you are, there's no way you'll be able to move it. Save your strength. Are you working with them? Certainly not. I'm not with those people. I'd say that's pretty obvious, don't you think? They clearly wanted you to go to my shop and used you as bait to make him come so they could trap him. Actually, I am the real victim here. What on earth did I ever do to you people? It, it was such a beautiful afternoon. I was taking a nap in my own shop when a bunch of women stormed in and started breaking everything I owned. I barely escaped with my life. And now I have to spend my last moments of life down here with you foolish lovers. I don't deserve hey, this. What are you talking about? Look carefully. I am a slave. He's my master. Huh? What? Oh. I'm so sorry. I'm very sorry. It's my fault. He's just your friend. No, your master. A master. And you're a slave. It's so kind of your master. He's willing to come all this way and die in this cave for you. He must be the kindest man in the world. I'm in awe, really. Is there any other exit from this cave? No. <sighs> this is where I store my money and treasures, as well as my best weapons. Hey, listen! Would you build a back door into the treasure hoard of your own house? Why would you install an unbreakable door here? These are my treasures! For a rich man like me, a defensive door like that makes perfect sense! But now your door has not just failed, it has locked you inside for good, right? How dare you talk like that! Have you no shame? Were it not for you two, I wouldn't be in here! I would never willingly be locked in this place! What do you mean by that? 
You said you'd never met those women before. How did they know their door was unbreakable? Eh. <laughs> I am a man, you know. A man of romance. You should know. Surely you. <laughs> that, that peach leaf. You've both seen what she's like. She's kind of good looking. A few years ago, she was a frequent customer of mine, so we kind Dirty of... Dirty old man. Why would you tell her about something so important? You deserve to be trapped in here. Well, it's none of your business, is it? I'm better than him. He didn't even know how you feel about him, and still he sacrificed himself for you. Why, well, you... Whoopsie. <laughs> Let's look around. Why? What's the matter? Lord Jay is in danger. What? Move! Move! Follow me closely and be quiet. Where are we going? You're very annoying. Who's annoying? You are. I should have known. You spies are always bad news. How do you know we're spies? <laughs> You're carrying. The Shan Hong sword, which means you're a member of the Sky Eye. His sword is the Po Ye. The swords you carry, they're a pair, right? And still you say that you're not a couple. I was trying not to be too straightforward. Now you forced me. Are you happy? See how awkward this is. What's more, the girl who came into my shop first carried the sword Chi Yu. So that would make her Zhong Yu. The one who came later, wielding a sword called Tian Ying Shui Shu. She also moved very elegantly. Unless I'm mistaken, she would be one of the masters of the Liang Spy Agency. <laughs> so you recognize people by their weapons, not by their faces. How can you be so sure that your judgment is right? There are two things in this world that I am never ever wrong about. One would be weapons, and the other is the woman I'm facing. <laughs> You're just bragging.
You are the Princess of Leon. <laughs> it's good to know you can still see. Uh, I never expected to see you here, Your Highness. If you'd done your job well, I wouldn't have to come here in person. You and she? The map of the Sky Eye Tower that you gave us was not complete. It almost caused our plant to fail. Uh, that's not my fault. I gave you what I had. I am just an old, useless man. I know nothing but wine and women now. Uh, I really don't know anything useful. <laughs> Seeing as you know that you're useless now, you should stay out of the affairs of Red Hill Court from now on. Stay and enjoy the comfort of your little den. And never again show your face outside. So you want me to... Stay away from everything? Her Highness wants me to remind you... ...of your past! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! No! If the Master of Greenhill Court learns how his mother died, I promise I'll remain a useless old man from now on. Let me it's in. It's not allowed. Lord, she is currently Move. resting. Come, come. Here we are. Ah. Woo! <laughs> ah. Finally, we're here. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Come out, all of you. Come out! Come to me. My little babies, did you miss me? Look around, you two. Do feel at home. Ah. Come here, money bags. Eh, hey, money bags. Ah. What's the matter with you? Why won't you eat while I'm away? Look at you, you've lost so much weight! Silly thing. Come, come, come. Have some food. Hey, hey! Tasty, isn't it? Look how cute they are. Very well, very well. If you're done, go back to your houses. Ah! Ah, oh, look. They're so cute. Aren't they the cutest? Don't you think they're lovely little things? Huh? Taking a nap I was, when disaster suddenly struck. And I very nearly lost my life. Hey! <sighs> hey! What are you doing? I'm taking a nap! We're trapped in a cave. How can you be so at ease? You should help us get out of here! Why won't you listen to what I say? How many times must I tell you? There is no exit! Come on, what's the rush? You need to learn to use your brain. He's an important man. There will be people coming to our rescue. Don't worry. His people will come for us soon enough. They'll get all of us out of here. Okay? I have some good news to share with you two. I've got loads of rice here, as well as cooking oil, salt, and pork. Enough to keep all of us alive for six months. <laughs> Hey, hey, isn't that good news? <laughs> I'm going to get some sleep. You help yourselves. I sleep like a log. <laughs> hmm. 
the Poirier sword, it would only be held by the master of the Sky Eye. This means that he is an important son of the UN family. But he risked his life to come here and save you, a slave. <laughs> what a hopeless man. I think the UN family is just getting weaker and weaker. Be quiet! My lord. What? Don't you want to find a way out? They spared no effort in getting us into this place. There must be a reason. He told us. There's no exit. Do you trust him? It's not about trust. Look how soundly he sleeps. He's not at all worried that we'll steal his treasure. This means that he's confident that we won't get out. We can force him to tell us. Look around. Can you see any food in here? There are many passages in this cave. We could easily get lost. If we use force on him, and he refuses to talk or share his food with us, then we won't last for three days. So we'll stay here and wait? What else can we do? Yeah. 